Hi guys, welcome back. And on today's episode, I thought we'd play a little game called 21 Questions. So it's a great way for you guys to get to know a little bit more about me. And instead of me asking myself questions and then just answering them, I asked my good friend Michelle Legere to join me today. Hi everyone. I've known Michelle for about 15 years, so. What? Yeah, it's been 15, 15 years. Oh. 15 you are years. Old. 15 years too long. I am not. <laughs> but anyway, Michelle knows lots about me, so I thought it'd be a great idea to bring her on, and she can probably fill in some of the backstories as well of these questions. <laughs> lots of backstory. So enjoy the episode. Okay. What is your full name? So my full name is Sean Darcy Ireland. Darcy, where? Where did the Darcy come from? Darcy comes from my mother. My mother <laughs> thought uh, that it would be very good to have Darcy, considering my name is Irish. Mm -hmm. So it's S-E-A-N, which is Irish for John. Right. There was a lot of Johns in our family already. So mom said, well, I'm gonna call him Sean. And oh. of course my last name is Ireland because of my dad's side of the family who are all Irish. So therefore, Darcy, to her, just seemed to fit in there. So it's Sean huh. Darcy Ireland. It's a unique name. You very rarely hear it. Uh, although I grew up with a Darcy, Darcy Wolfett. But anyways, uh, okay, second question. Um, where did you grow up? So I grew up in Newfoundland. Mm. So in a small town called Bay Roberts. Uh, I spent my younger years, my high school years there. Then I moved into the city, into St. John's. And then in 1999, I moved. Oh, do you still have family in St. John's? I do. So my mom is there, my brother, and my one sister is there as well. And they are okay with that big snowstorm that happened recently? Like they dug themselves out of the oh, a snowmageddon? Yep. Okay. Oh, everybody survived that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what is your one of your funniest memories from high school? So, um, high school for me was fine. Mm -hmm. I did pretty good. I kind of laid low, went under the wire. So one <laughs> you of the, laid low I and went under the wire. Yes. Oh, okay. So I thought when uh, it was the early '90s, I was a huge Madonna fan. Uh, I thought it'd be really cool to dye my hair bleach blonde like Madonna. <laughs> I used to wear Madonna t-shirts and walk okay. around the hallways and going to class and that and I would always hear people in behind me whispering Vogue. <laughs> so they would call me Vogue, Vogue. when I was in high school okay. because Vogue was the song right. of the time, right? From Madonna, so. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in Calgary, Alberta. Oh. And then I lived up until the age of seven in Edmonton and then we moved to Newfoundland. So you were born at one end of the country and grew up in the other? Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. Uh, you were born at one end of the country and you grew up in another end of the country, so where do you currently live? So currently I live in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So which like the middle? Kind of, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's central, but it's the southernmost part of Ontario. And I live right across the river from Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Um, so so what, <laughs> I sort of know the answer to this, I think, but what would you say is your spirit animal? So definitely my spirit animal is a unicorn. unicorn. Most people know that I love unicorns. Yes. I collect them. I have a tattoo of one. Um, and I love the unicorn just because it's such a wild and, and free animal, rare in, in, to find, mm -hmm. um, very unique, and I feel like I exhibit a lot of those traits, so and, I identify with the unicorn. magical. And magical, of right. course, yes. Okay. Um, so when you were growing up, did you play any sports? Um, so growing up, my mom loved to, I dreaded summer. I dreaded summer because I knew what was coming. She would put us into tennis lessons okay. and baseball. And neither of those things I really enjoyed myself. So um, I always wanted to act. I always wished oh, there okay. had been some acting classes where I was growing up, but it wasn't really available. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, still did the, the sports thing when I was younger, but now that I'm older, and, and I consider it a sport, um, but I'm, I love to CrossFit. Okay. Um, so there's competitions, yeah. there's challenges, those kind of things. So in that terms, or in, in that way, I guess it's a sport, mm -hmm. but it's a way for me to keep fit as well too. So yeah, so CrossFit. How many times a week do you go to CrossFit? Oh, I try to get there at least five days. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm lucky I might get six in there, but uh, yeah, I try to keep it at five just because I need some downtime mm -hmm. and some rest time as well too. Okay. What, what year were you born? 
I was born in 1976. 76. So, very exciting time. I was a disco baby. You are old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, uh, let me think of another question. Oh, okay, so what are some other YouTubers that you watch? So, two of them that I really enjoy watching uh, is Mike Rizzi, mm -hmm. who's from Toronto. Um, and I just learned a lot from watching his videos, just in terms of how kind of YouTube works. Um, another person that I like to watch is Andrew Neighbors. So his uh, YouTube channel is Andrew Goes Places. So he does a lot of travel, oh. um, shares a lot of experiences in his life and those kind of things. So I enjoy watching that. And um, those two YouTubers kind of inspired me to mm -hmm. kind of say, hey, you know what? It's time, it's a new year, it's a new decade, and it's time for me to finally do my own channel. So. That's what I'm doing. Good. Well, speaking of travel, um, can you say what your favorite city is? Because I know you like to travel. You travel quite a bit if you can. And so out of all the places that you visited, what's your favorite city? So right now it's three. Okay. Three. So, you know, I like excess. So it's always going to be <laughs> a little bit more than one. one. Yes. So <laughs> I love Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. I love Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Okay. And I love Palm Springs, California. Okay. So Nashville and Palm Springs, they sort of get, but what about Columbus, Ohio? Not, nothing against Columbus, Ohio, but what is makes it special? So Columbus is this jewel that's in the middle of Ohio. People okay. never think about, oh, Ohio has great cities, but Columbus, I always say to people, if you've been to Chicago, it's like uh, that, but on a ah, much smaller scale. Okay. They've got great restaurants. They've got some really trendy shopping areas. And I love Chicago. So. And yeah, so you, you definitely love Columbus. Okay. Yeah. And um, Palm Springs, uh, Palm Springs is kind of flashy. Love Palm Springs. Okay. I love, one of my favorite things there is that when you wake up in the morning, no matter where you are in the city, you're always surrounded by the mountain range. So there are uh, mountains. I, like, I didn't know that. And oh, people okay. don't know that. That's the thing, right? Cause they think, Oh, LA and Palm LA Springs. has some mountains, but once you get out into the desert, the desert, absolutely. There's that big mountain range. That's oh, all around it. So, okay. yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. And Nashville, Nashville, oh. because I just love the vibe there. I love okay. the music. They got really good food. It's kind of like, um, it, up and coming like I know that you know country music started there mm -hmm. but there were some areas that became dilapidated over time in that and now they've um, turned that around a lot of Millennials and hipsters have moved into those areas and those mm -hmm. areas are really trendy they're right. a lot of fun to hang out with uh, like to go into those areas and right. then like cool coffee shops and stuff like that so I, I just love it sort of like um, the rejuvenation of Detroit yeah exactly yeah right? yeah Detroit, the Renaissance and all that yeah right? like Detroit is a great city to visit everybody has this really bad uh, thought or reputation right. about it but it's it's a great place and I, I don't explore it enough but, and you should yeah. and, and you I should, should because yeah. I've done a little bit more of that lately too and I love love Detroit so please come visit Detroit good um, okay so uh, favorite things talk about your favorite movie okay so favorite movie is Pretty Woman <laughs> okay. Love Pretty Woman. I identify <laughs> with the harlot uh -huh. who marries the rich, wealthy prince at the very end. You are a harlot. So I watch <laughs> that movie every time, and every time I watch it, I always cry. I've probably oh, seen yeah, it 150 yeah. times. I love Pretty Woman. Love it. Okay. Love Julia Roberts in that. So. Okay. So um, you can identify with that. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what about your, I think I know the answer to this, but your favorite TV show. So favorite TV show, okay, Golden Girls. Okay. Love the Golden Girls, watch it every night before I go to bed. I've got a lot of my younger friends, even some of my friends that are my age who have never watched Golden Girls, I've got them into that now right. as well too, so they're hooked. I like Star Trek, so I'm also oh, a big yeah, yeah. Star Trek fan. I like and Discovery, Disc I like, I. I really uh, enjoyed Discovery. Discovery's great. I yeah. love that Picard is back as well. I haven't started that yet. And I'm, I'm building up a couple of episodes so I can watch them yeah, back to back. Good. So, yeah, okay. I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm a big fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, yeah. As well too. Yeah. So, so, okay. So, if you um, were a Golden Girl, which one would you be? I would definitely be Dorothy. Dorothy? For sure, yeah. Because okay. I feel like even with my friendships right now, I'm always the person that kind of grounds all the zany people that that's are in my life. The Blanches, the Sophias, and the Roses that are in my life. That's true. I help ground these people. You bring so. everybody down, back down to earth when yes. they need to be. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, so I identify right. with Dorothy. Okay. 
Um, let me see. Oh, are you single? Or are you taken? Single. Okay. I am single, yes. I know, for anybody watching, yes. Still single, ready to mingle. I'm, you know, <laughs> always looking for love. But, you know, at the same time, too, I love my own company. Uh, I love the flexibility of just coming and going and visiting and traveling and doing all those things as well, too. So yeah. it's okay. You can sort of pick up and do whatever you want to yeah. whenever you want. Absolutely. Yeah. And when the time is right, I'm sure I'll find somebody. Uh, but yeah. in the meantime, I'm enjoying single life. So. Good. Okay, well, how many siblings do you have? So I have three brothers and I have one sister. Okay. Three brothers and one sister. Yes. Okay. That must have been an interesting house to grow up it in. It was. With four boys and one girl. So my one brother so. grew up in British Columbia, so okay. we didn't grow up together. We reconnected later on in life. Okay. Uh, but my brother Kane and my brother Darren and my sister Catherine, we grew up together and we tortured my sister. Oh my. Tortured her <laughs> to uh. death. And my brother Darren was the worst. I mean, he would have her screaming. Um, you know, it was always the thing about he at one point was the youngest, and then she came along. So it was always that kind of rivalry. So yeah, it was fun. It was it was fun growing up with them. So, so. Catherine, when you watch this video, can you comment below and give us some stories about how he used to torture you? Yeah. Um, be careful what you say. Because <laughs> yeah. he still has to be perfect. That's right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I have to check and see. Um, oh. Uh, favorite favorite vacation spot like I know you've mentioned your favorite cities but think about a place to go for vacation so if I am gonna go on vacation I usually go to Fort Lauderdale okay. love Fort Lauderdale love the beach love guys and speedos <laughs> uh, love the shopping love the food mm -hmm. love the Sun it's yeah, so tropical you, I just love yeah. it there so yeah but I've gone there so much too lately that I've had to take a break from it and that's okay. why I've been yeah. exploring other areas because I don't want me, my whole life to only be I went to Fort Lauderdale. I've so. never, okay, it's not, I've, it's not that I've never been to Florida because I had to stop in Miami one time overnight from an air flight. I got stranded there um, from a connecting flight, but, I, but I've never like stopped in Florida and spent a lot of time in there. So it's well, one place I haven't go gone, so I need to go. Yeah, yeah, I guess we'll have so. to go down together sometimes. So. Okay, um, so if you could think about going back in time, if there is one thing that you could go backwards and do over again. And we talked a little bit about this. It's really hard to think of that one moment that you would change, but if there's one moment you would change. Well, I think, I don't know if it's necessarily a moment, but it was be, if I could go back in time, I would like to be uh, not so shy. I hated being oh. shy as a child. I know people wonder that now. They're like, you, shy as a child? Yeah. Absolutely, I was so shy and nervous as a child I could be just frozen I would be if I had to do something that was meeting new people or interacting with strangers or whatever I, I would feel nauseated it was just terrible so because of that it affected a lot of the things that I could have done like mm -hmm. hey if I wanted to do some acting classes or do those kind of mm -hmm. things I just couldn't because I was so frozen with fear and um, you know confidence is key so mm -hmm. Um, I feel now that I'm older, I have a lot of confidence. So I wish that I could go back and tell my younger self that, you know, just be confident. Be, it's okay to be you. You're going to grow up to be a great guy. People are going to love you. So just enjoy this time right now and be confident. Yeah. So. But if we think about it too, if we, if we could go back and change something, that means that we wouldn't be sitting where we're sitting right now. So Absolutely. It's so a little bit of a, it's, it's a, life works a puzzle. Out, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's the way life yeah. works out and everything plays this way for a reason. So mm -hmm. who knows? As Maya Angelou said, um, when you know better, you do better. And I sort of live by that if I can to remember when people are genuinely good and when they know better, they do better. So when you improve who you are, you change who you are, right? right. So, right. good. Okay, um, oh, so I reached into my pocket and I took out $500. Um, and the original question says eight hours, but I'm gonna change the original question. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give you $500 on the table and you only have one hour to spend it in. What would you spend it on? So, because YouTube is becoming my new passion and mm -hmm. something that I'm really enjoying doing, um, I would probably go onto Amazon and get some more equipment. Oh, okay. So you can always get a few more lights, a few mm -hmm. more cameras, a few more lenses, those kind of things. So I would take that $500 and buy more equipment to help me on my YouTube journey. Okay, that's a good one. 
Um, so what is one thing that you are really, really good at? So I would say one thing that I'm really good at is breaking the ice with strangers. Oh, yes, yeah. So if I use CrossFit as an example, anybody that comes new into the gym, I always go up and say hi, give them a handshake, introduce myself, ask who they are, what brought them to CrossFit, just because I know what it's like to be that person who's new to something mm -hmm. and just be really, really shy. So I would say, yeah, in any of those kind of situations, social settings, those kind of things, I find that I'm okay with uh, approaching people because you, you know are, what? Yeah. If they don't like me, I don't care. I like myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, the worst thing they're going to do is just so, show no interest in talking to yeah. you. But yeah, that's probably one thing that I'm pretty good at. You have this great ability to walk into a room. It doesn't matter who is there. And you meet people, you talk to people, and you sort of envelop them into your energy and your vibe uh, right from the beginning. And, and if they don't come along for the ride, you just go on to the next person right. and make sure. That's yeah. true. Yeah, well, that's true. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do you. have that. Um, okay, so last question. I have to. I forget the last question. Just a second. Um, oh, oh, this isn't the last question. Okay, um, we talked about this one before too. Uh, would you rather be rich or famous? It's tough, but yeah. I, I feel like I want to be famous. Really? Yeah. I, you know, the oh, rich thing, okay. it, it's fine or whatever, but I feel like you only live one time. Mm -hmm. And I, for somehow or some way, I want to be able to leave some impact or some legacy behind. So I feel that, and fame is different, right? And we're not talking about you have to be celebrity fame. No. But it's even just being known in the small town that you're living in or, you know, through a large group of friends or whatever, right? So, um, so definitely, I think in this case, it's going to be fame and uh, being famous and just leaving some footprint behind okay. so that people will remember me. I think, I think you do that already, probably with your group of friends that you're in. Like you... Um, you're famous for us, I guess, in terms of we know you, we love you, you bring a lot to enrich our lives too. So, um, so you are famous, just not in the bigger way, but you want the big. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I want the big okay. fame. You so big we'll see. Fame. And you know, okay. YouTube is a new journey, so we'll see where that takes me. So right. I'm very excited about that as well. So. Okay. So, um, what scares you? Oh. Well, at this point in my life, what scares me is death. I'm just, uh, I'm so scared of it. I just feel like life is so good right now. And I wish, again, going back to that other question, that I had not been so fearful of things in the past. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, hey, at this point, I've got lots of life left. I want to make the most of it um, and do as many things as I can accomplish in that time. But, yeah, so at this point, yeah, thinking about death is what... It right, happens as you get older and older, you sort of think about your own mortality a little bit right. more. Yeah. So um, it's just a natural thing to think about. Um, but time does go by much faster I as know. you age. Yeah. Like it's a blink in uh, of an eye. So it, yeah, live it to the fullest. Yeah, and that's okay. the plan. So. Uh, Okay, well, I think that's 21 questions. Yes, um, it's, hopefully it is hopefully 21. Hopefully it's 21 Maybe questions. Maybe someone's going to count and find out. I think there's some more that we <laughs> threw in there, so it could be over 21 or under. But anyways, um, I think that's it. Right. Okay. Okay, so... So that's it for today, guys. Thank you, Michelle, for joining us. Well, uh, not a problem. I, I really don't like being on camera, and it's something, uh, but when you called or texted me and said, would you do this, I, I thought long about it, but then I said yes, because um, this year I'm trying to do things that I wouldn't normally do. I'm gonna take myself out of my comfort zone. Uh, even though I do theater and I have for many years, camera's a totally different thing for me. So um, so yeah, so I took a risk. It's the 2020, it's the year to shake some shit up and so I'm doing things that I normally wouldn't do so I'm glad that I could help you out with your odyssey and this is why I don't ask Michelle too many questions because they're <laughs> very long-winded so if you enjoyed watching today's uh, episode please make sure that you click the subscribe button below and also remember to click the bell icon so that you get notification of all the new videos that I'm posting and also please follow me on Instagram at Sean's Magical Odyssey. Bye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't know. I didn't want to repeat it again. I know. I didn't want to say Sean.